HCAM News is supported by our viewers and by Hopkinton Drug, located in this historic New England town since 1954. They are a multifaceted store dedicated to providing clients with an array of health care options. And by Webster First Federal Credit Union, providing financial products with attentive customer service to the local families and businesses of Hopkinton. Visit us at WebsterFirst.com. Welcome to this best of edition of HCAM News. Tom Nappy at the anchor desk to recap some of the great news stories from throughout this past year. On this edition of HCAM News, four of Hopkinton High School's finest were honored at the third annual Top of the Hill ceremony. And this year's Hopkinton High School's seniors had their annual Halloween costume contest. But first, after over a year of anxiously awaiting, the Hopkinton community welcomed in the newly renovated and expanded Hopkinton Public Library. Here is a look at the opening ceremony from this past October. We have the necessary ingredients for our perfect library. Dedicated patrons, our amazing staff, and now this fantastic building. So we step into our future and enjoy the bounty begin within. What a show. Thanks by continuing to support and honor this testament to Hopkinton's commitment to foster the pursuit of knowledge. Our future generations shall continue to use the wisdom and information enshrined here to educate themselves, generating scientists, engineers, doctors, teachers, innovators, and leaders. Those are the people that shall continue to improve this world so that we can all thrive in it. Libraries are the cornerstone to a free society of well-educated citizens. The spirit of that is captured in the words of author Toby Forward. Civilized nations build libraries. Lands that have lost their soul close them down. Thank you very much for coming. I am truly honored and delighted to be here today celebrating this bright, new, wonderful, fabulous, wonderful, incredible Hopkinton Library. There aren't enough superlatives, are there? It's 25,000 square feet of melding the old with the new. It's almost five times the size of the old one. So on behalf of Governor Baker and the Massachusetts Board of Library Commissioners, we congratulate the dozens of people who worked so hard for so many years to make this library a reality. Well done, Hopkinton. Special congratulations, of course, go to the library trustees, past and present, and the past and interim and present directors, Roniak, Deb, and Heather, who each took their turn shepherding this project along, and special recognition to your intrepid library foundation led by Laura Berry, that I'm sure will have raised well over a million dollars when they're finished. To the friends of the library, the staff, and town officials. This new building is a collaboration of the community. It not only takes a village to build a library, but a lot of support. And you've got that support from the citizens and taxpayers, and those at Terrence and fundraisers, who along with the state provided the funding. Absolutely nothing makes the Mass Board of Library Commissioners happier than awarding a construction grant and seeing that grant, in this case, $4,533,000 come to fruition. And when you get LEED certification, you'll be eligible for a green incentive grant at least another $100,000. Not a bad place to be financially. Now let's not forget Representative Dykema and Senator Spilka for their help and support for the timely library construction bond bill in 2013. It all came together at the right time. Hopkinson was 14th out of 15th on the waiting list. I can imagine what you thought when that happened, <laughs> but good things really happen to those who come who wait. We have the internet, we get Google. And my answer to them is, why do we need oceans when we have water coming through in the tap? Do we need a, why do we need theaters when we can watch a movie on our phone? We need many more avenues of transferring <laughs> knowledge than just the internet as we all know it can be hacked and corrupted in seconds. 
We need a place where people can come, come and meet, study, study together and transfer information, mouth to ear, pen to paper, or paper to eye. A public place where we can have free and equal transfer of ideas and storage of the world's knowledge for everyone from the nobleman to the pauper, without regard to race, color, creed, sexual orientation, or political affiliation. And here, they even have Google and the internet. So, you know, please welcome everyone. Thank you so much for coming. This has been a long time coming, and uh, I'm just great to have you here in Hopkins. The glass doors behind me accentuate the 19th century architecture of the original library, as well as the former Episcopal Church built in the 1890s. Inside the library now offers so many more resources than before, including more materials and state-of-the-art technology. More importantly, this space offers what is most important to our community, space for people to gather, including a spacious event room, bright and cheerful children's room, a welcoming young adult room, technology classroom for adults and children, conference rooms, study spaces, and so much more. The building is environmentally friendly and, for the first time, accessible to all. This building, this is a building that honors Hopkinton's rich history and will serve our community for decades to come. As I mentioned, this has truly been a community effort, but I would like to put, acknowledge a few, just a few of the people who have stood out um, in making this project a reality. First, the Library Board of Trustees including Russ Ellsworth, Sarah Duckett, Len Holden, and Linda Kimball, who began the planning for the library expansion back in the early 2000s. Norman Kamalo, Hopkinton's town manager and Hopkinton's board of selectmen, particularly Brian Hur, R.G. Durney, and Ben Paleko, who oversaw the transition of the library to a town department and whose leadership brought the project to town meeting for approval. John Ferrari and Dan McIntyre, as leaders of the Permanent Building Committee, as well as all of the members of the Permanent Building Committee who have supervised the construction of the project for our town. Ronak Hussein, Deb Irving, and Heather Backman, as li library directors and stewards of our beautiful library. I also want to thank the friends of the library that have supported the library project and, of course, supported Hopkins Public Library Foundation. And last but not least, I want to thank the board members of Hopkinton Public Library Foundation, but especially our core team of Katie Davenport, Catherine Principe, and Lindsay McDermott, who have devoted countless hours behind the scenes to promote and fundraise for our new library. How many places can you go today to be with your community without paying an admission fee or buying a cup of coffee to stay in the building? How many places can we go in this day and age where people truly, from all walks of life, rub shoulders? And in an age of fake news, where can we go for information we know we can trust and where we can learn to think critically and sort fact from fiction? The public library is one of those few remaining places that is a safe space to encounter new perspectives and ideas, a source of knowledge and truth, and a center for civil debate and connection across differences. The library is the place that we go to explore and learn, to communicate and work with others, to meet our neighbors, and to build relationships. It is my aim as director that this library be the beating heart of Hopkinton, a place of connection and learning that touches every single resident, that allows each and every person to pursue their own growth and share the best of themselves with this vibrant community. Now it is the time for all of us to come together and make sure that the things that are happening inside this building are as exciting and wonderful as the building is itself. Welcome to your library. Let's make it a great one. But when you think about it, as others before me have said, libraries have taken on a new meaning. They are the focal point of what a town should be. And doing and creating this beautiful new library. It is new, even though so much of it is, is older and renovated. It's a blend of the old and the new. This will add so much. This is, when you think about it, you can all give yourselves a pat on the back for leaving this wonderful legacy to the town. This will live on long before any of us 
our, our God. And that is something that is truly special. This will be a, a focal point for so many people, so many families, and a resource. And you all, you all were a part of that. So congratulations. And with that, I have a Senate citation. I'll just quickly be part of it. Be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to the Hopkinton Board of Trustees in recognition of the joyous occasion of the grand opening of the new library. And it's signed by the Senate President, Stan Rosenberg, myself, Karen Spilka, as Hopkinton State Senator. And it's dated uh, today. Congratulations to everybody. Thank you so much. I'm the Young Adult Librarian. Welcome to our new teen space here at the library. We've got a laptop bar over that way. We've got comfy chairs. We've got a big screen TV in the corner. We're going to have a gaming system. We've got clubs you can sign up for. And of course, lots of awesome books. So come on in. All right, how's it feel to be in the new space? Oh, it's beautiful. It's amazing. We have such a rockin' space here. It's colorful, the big windows. Kids are going to love it. Hi, I'm Donna Olipson, and I'm a library assistant here in the children's room at the Hopkinton Public Library. I work the circulations desk, and I do some story times. And I'm Maureen Belger, and I'm also a circulation both um, up here in the children's room and downstairs at the main circulation desk. Excellent. And how does it feel to be in this new space, and what do you think about the result of... Uh, the renovation and expansion of the library. I'm just so excited. I think that they've done a tremendous job and I think it's going to be a great <laughs> asset to the entire community. Absolutely. I think it's just a wonderful place to be. It's definitely going to be the hub of the community. Um, this children's room is a wonderful space for the children. I think that they will just be thrilled with all that there is here. Um, for them to come and enjoy. Hi, my name is Denise Coffrin and I'm the children's librarian here at the Hopkinton Library and welcome to our brand new and improved children's room. Excellent. Uh, how does it feel to be in this space and what do you think about the result? Well, it's absolutely beautiful and, and the fact that we have space, I mean that that's the operative word and we have space for children to sit we have space for doing story times. We have computers now. We have a special computer um, dedicated to just little young people. There's places for puzzles. We, ha we have returned to our puppet theater, you know, which we had many years ago. We had one, and it was very rickety, and there was n absolutely no space for it. And I promised the kids that we would have it again. We always had puppets, but no theater. So now they, they can go to town. standing in a new space and welcoming the public in today. It feels great. It's uh, it's gratifying. We've been so happy to that the public has been so um, supportive and enthusiastic, so it feels great. Excellent. We're proud. Um, what do you think about the result of this new space? Uh, I think it looks absolutely beautiful and must be very happy with it. I love it. I love it. I'm very happy. The Johnson Roberts Architects did a fantastic job. They've worked with us for years now, going back to 2011. and have um, taken care of every detail. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for coming. HCAM programming is supported by our viewers. Thank you. And by Golden Pond Assisted Living, honoring resident choice, dignity, and independence. Our health and wellness focus keeps residents active. Golden Pond, state-of-the-art senior housing and health care services. A program started three years ago by Hopkinton High School Assistant Principal Josh Hanna called Top of the Hill was created to recognize Hopkinton High School graduates who have achieved greatness in their professional life or their community. Here's a look at this year's ceremony which honored four Hopkinton alumni. 
On Tuesday, November 21st, Michael Whalen, Scotty Mackin, Sarah Ellum, and Josh Hanna were inducted into the Hopkinton High School Hall of Fame. Here is a look at this year's annual Top of the Hill induction ceremony. The kids that have in town for Scott is just remarkable, and it's been that same way ever since that very first day 17 years ago. Um, I was making up a list with his mother um, before, we, uh, before we met up tonight, just of all the things he's involved in even outside of the school and the community for Hopkinton, uh, running the Parks and Rec summer camp, working with the fire department, the police department, um, volunteering, dressing up as Santa Claus, uh, refing Special Olympic basketball games and always teeing up at least one or two players, uh, working at the Boston Marathon, the Memorial Day and Veterans Day events that he does with, with uh, Mike Whalen, uh, the Turkey Bowl, Live for Evan race, my uh, Timlin race, uh, Michael's run, it just goes on and on and on. Wally's bodyguard at the, uh, the Little League parades. Um, if there's an event going on in town, uh, you're most likely, likely going to see him there. Um, something that he's also very, very involved in is the Special Olympics. He's done skiing, softball, swimming, soccer, and basketball. Um, and nothing makes Scott prouder than when he has an event for uh, Special Olympics and he comes to practice or a game the next Monday and he's got the medal around his neck. And the way the kids react and, and go up to him and congratulate him and high five him um, for, for you know, his success with the Special Olympics is something that's always been really cool too. And on top of all that, he works at Home Depot. He's been working at Home Depot in Natick for 21 years, you know, running that place as well, too. So he's a busy guy, but he handles it all. Um, so in closing, um, the perspective uh, that Scott brings to our students and our athletes and community members is truly remarkable. Um, the amount of messages I've received from parents over the years thanking Scott for his efforts and teaching their sons beyond just their specific sport is truly amazing. Um, I've been a part of a lot of difficult losses at all levels as a coach here at HHS, freshman JV and varsity. Um, but after each and every one of those losses, Scott's right there smiling, telling the team it's going to be all right. And each and every time the kids have responded in kind with great appreciation. Hey Scott, did you have a good time tonight? Yep. How does it feel to be honored? Are you happy? Happy. Congratulations, buddy. You deserve it. Uh, I hear my, I hear my, uh, my team battle I said, I said, I'm, 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 I'm being there. I hear what, what. I will always remember this ceremony as earning the respect of the people in your life is a true member measure of achievement. I want to thank all who have touched my life, including my family, especially my daughters, Susie and Sarah, who validate and give purpose to my life. And I'll make a prediction right now that someday my daughters will be standing right here where I am accepting the same award. One more thing, the name Hiller will always be politically correct. As many of you are aware, people outside of Hopkinton ask, what is a Hiller anyway? Well, you can tell them that it's not a person or a thing, it's a state of mind, it's a spirit, it's Sarah, and it's Scotty. It can't be seen, yet it's everywhere. Carry Hiller Pride with you for the rest of your life, and thank you for your attention. First of all, I had a very nice day. Thank you. And uh, I um, feel overwhelmed, really. Uh, this, this honor is, as I mentioned in my speech, there's been thousands and thousands of graduates over the years, and to be singled out, uh, is uh, very humbling, very humbling, and I really, really appreciate it. This soil, this community of Hopkinton, and particularly the teachers in my life, all of the teachers, created the conditions that allowed me to thrive, and now I hope I can do the same for the students of Hopkinton, to introduce them to the power of language, to help them strengthen their voices, and to realize that we have a responsibility to save each other. Fitzgerald Gatsby believed in the green light, the orgastic future before him, well, teachers have that depth, depth of aspiration as well, but we also have the opportunity to create wonder, foster hope, and help construct the framework necessary for young people to live their dreams, to create a life. Thank you once again for this tremendous honor. It has been a remarkable day and night. Thank you.
does it feel to be a winner tonight? Um, it feels wonderful. It was such an honor to hear these, the kind words that people spoke about me and to be included in the group with Mike and Scotty and Josh, which was a surprise and an honor he so deserved. So it's been a wonderful night. You certainly deserve it. Congratulations. Thank you. Lastly, we have a surprise inductee tonight, Mr. Hanna. After graduating from Hopkinton High School in 1995, Mr. Josh Hanna attended Framingham State University majoring in secondary education, and he later received his master's degree in educational leadership from Simmons College. In August of 2000, Mr. Hanna was hired as a history teacher at Natick High School. During his 13 years of teaching at Natick High School, he also served as a baseball coach, a football assistant coach, club advisor, history department chair, and was the Golden Excellence in Education Award recipient for Educator of the Year in 2013. TVL and Boston Globe, all-star. Josh also played varsity baseball for me. He was not the captain. <laughs> he was not very good. <laughs> Josh was even our school mascot, Hiller Man. How incredible that that name, all these years later as you win this prestigious award, has stuck with you. That's him. That was hard to find. <laughs> so we looked in and, and saw all the things. I don't mean to invade your privacy, but it's public. The things you wrote in that yearbook. Your secret desires. Become the Syracuse Orange Man. Now, I've written letters for hundreds of kids over the years to play baseball, to study history, to play football. I've never, Josh is still the only one I wrote to the school to the athletic director to be their mascot. <laughs> and you didn't get in. So. Sorry, Josh. To have a wonderful family. And you have succeeded that in that endeavor. And your, your family is beautiful from top to bottom. You're uh, a role model for your two wonderful children. All right, so I know you weren't expecting it, but uh, no. certainly well deserved. I don't feel to be honored tonight. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm kind of speechless about how it feels. I, I just love this school so much in this town that to be a part of it, uh, it, it it's, it's a great feeling. You know, it's a nice way to go into a holiday break for sure. And, uh, but the reality is there's been a lot of important people that have given me the confidence to, 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 to try to lead and, and be a part of this community in a positive way. And I'm just trying to give back to so many people that gave to me when I was young. And, and I feel like if we do that, uh, in society, then we'll keep getting better, we'll keep improving. So, yeah, it's, it's a tremendous honor. It totally caught me by surprise. Uh, Mr. Simos sharing those kind words was kind of a nice blast from the past, and uh, you know, it's just a great place to be. So, I'm happy to be able to turn on to work tomorrow morning, bright and early. Well, you certainly deserve it. You do a lot for the community. Congratulations. Thank you. Each year on Halloween, the seniors of Hopkinton High School participate in a costume contest and never cease to amaze with their creativity. Here is a look at the annual harvest festivities from this past October.
That will just about do it for this edition of HCAM News. Don't forget you can stay up to date with everything Hopkinton by checking out our website HCAM.TV as well as our Twitter and Facebook page. Be sure to head over to our website to view pictures and videos from throughout our community and also to stay up to date with upcoming events. If you have a Hopkinton related video photo or story idea, I want to hear from you. Email me at news at HCAM.TV. With your help, we'll cover even more of our community. For everyone here at HCAM, I'm Tom Nappy. We leave you now with the current community listings and upcoming government meetings. As always, thanks for watching HCAM News. Take care, and from all of us at HCAM, we wish you and your family a very happy holiday season.